Hi right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna see how to create um, a mountain road. But first, uh, I wanted to uh, specify something concerning the bridge uh, that I forgot to mention in the preceding video. So uh, I said that uh, every connection between a bridge and a road has to be flat. It's not really true. It doesn't have to be flat. The thing is that it has to be aligned, okay? So I'm going to disable uh, bridge uh, extra generator and I'm going back into uh, the roadscape generator. So it, it, it has to be aligned. So this is aligned because this is flat. But if we take uh, all this and we simply uh, put it like this, the bridge will also work, okay? Like the bridge connection will also work. So it doesn't have to be flat, the connection between a bridge and the road. It just has to be aligned, okay? So this is how you can do it. Uh, in this video, we are going to get rid of the bridge because uh, it has, uh, in fact, no business uh, being here. It is a very bad uh, placement for a bridge, so I just want to get rid of it. So I'm going to just simply uh, uh, remove the bridge generator as well as the bridge column. And I'm, I'm also uh, going to simply remove uh, all the uh, edges uh, that are the bridge and we're going to create our road mesh here okay so let's see what it looks like we are going with the mountain road so how do you create a mountain road so i would uh, invite you to uh, display the um, your terrain again simply your terrain so you're going to force performance mode on roadscape and then you can display your original terrain so that you can see uh, what you're doing and you can simply just uh, snap use the snap tool to face project again i'm going to get rid of this and get rid of this and so we have our road right there uh i was going to put uh, this like this and let's say we want our uh we want our mountain road so we can start tracing it like that so simply what you can do you can simply go trace it like this like so you can do your turns like so like so with first project it will stick onto the terrain and then for the final adjustment, so this is way too intense. So we're going to just go like this, like this. And what you can do, you can select all the vertex that are vertices that are near to a corner. And then you can go S, Z and reduce the size on the Z axis. It will create a more realistic uh, corner. So we are going to go like this. We're going to do the same here, just like so. And we are going to do the same, sorry, here. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Okay. And maybe we can just go like this. Okay. So now let's see what it, it does. Let's uh, remove this. Leave performance mode. And let's see what we have. So we have, as you can see, a nice uh, mountain road with uh, some nice corners uh, and then uh, you can always uh, you can always uh, you know just maybe we want uh, this to be a little bit more tight and to be a bit more uh, funky it would be cool to have something like that we can you know and more geometry create something different like so we can have uh, maybe something like that. Let's try to do something cool. Something fun to drive on. And then we can uh, take all of this, bring it here. And so on, let's see what it looks like. And as you can see, in a matter of uh, a few seconds, you can uh, easily create a, a mountain road. And uh, it looks very good. I like it. it. Looks very cool. So that's how you create a mountain road, guys. Uh, so next video, we are going to see how to create a, a highway, guys. So yeah.
that's it thank you for watching and see you in the next video thank you